Hi guys, in this video we're gonna go over what are the current most popular products to sell as a dropshipping method. We are having an update over here from Shopify. Shopify is essentially providing us uh, with 150 best dropshipping products to sell right now. This is very interesting because we all know uh, Shopify gathers inside information and internal data so they have an idea what people are making the most money with. So let's go over the details. As you can see over here, we have an e-commerce list of different businesses and products that uh, are considered to be high ticket items. And obviously people have been building stores and selling these items on Shopify. First of all, we have an apparel and footwear. As you can see over here, the data from uh, Shopify simply indicates that retail sales for apparel and footwear are valued around $1.5 trillion worldwide. The number is set to increase by two trillion dollars by 2026. Uh, to be honest, I've watched plenty of uh, dropshipping videos for people in 2023 that they made a lot of money for uh, selling footwear. In these cheap shoes, probably you saw the Facebook ads in these like cheap shoes for five dollars, ten dollars. You know, obviously this works, but you have to consider that you might have an issue with the sizing, considering that. You know, importing the shoes from China have a Chinese Chinese sizing. Uh, you're selling the shoes in Europe have a different sizing, and selling the shoes here in the US have a different sizing. So you want to make sure that you got things right because you know there's a shipping associated with the shoes. It's not as easy as simply shipping a small items, right? According to them over here, drop shipping niche also very very important and successful according to them is categories like menswear women's wear accessories bags t-shirts they say that these items are usually always popular for drop shipping uh, according to them these items can create you know own designs people can white label them people can simply create their own brand based out of the chinese product and they can simply drop ship Again, I don't know why there are you no know, pointing out, out over here suppliers like AliExpress. Uh, to be honest, guys, most people already know who are uh, more experienced the drop shipping. It's actually existing on AliExpress. People, most of them are selling on the actual AliExpress platform are drop shippers. They're not the actual manufacturers. They said that you can also sell different clothing and footwear depending on the season. So now, probably already seen that a lot of winter stuff are on sale. Uh, people are trying to rid of a lot of jackets, boots, so on and so forth. According to Shopify, the top dropshipping products in apparel and footwear. Over here, guys, we have them. We have the keywords. Now we can actually craft a statement, an actionable plan. We have essential short sleeve tees, the cheaper one, you know, the basic ones. Nothing crazy, probably uh, 40 50 percent cotton shirts, yoga socks, sweatsuits, sandals, water shoes, floral print, kimonos that's what I haven't heard of. Quick dry running shorts, yeah, this is very popular. People have been going out running even in the cold days. We have a cargo shorts, loafers, tank tops, golf polos, swimming trucks, sundresses, leggings. Okay, we, we have pretty usual items, guys. There are some specifics that are related to particular sport or hobby, but overall, I, I don't think you can actually go wrong by looking into this, you know, doing more research. A lot of people have been jumping on and off from the beauty and personal care. This looks like uh, always good niche because people are always going to be buying like cosmetics and stuff, but usually it's quite competitive and it's really really hard to promote because you need you know female you need to find some uh creator who is willing you know to do the art for you uh, but it's very very good remember this small women's uh hair removal remember this is this was one of the most successful products they said that you know expectations for growth in the beauty industry are uh, going very very high and the reason for it is that the products are very small you know cheaply to to, to manufacture uh, usually last 
uh, long, right? So people are not uh, actually cheap on these products, especially if they want to look pretty, if they be taking care of themselves, they're willing to spend more money. There are potentials for upsell if you're selling something that needs, you know, additional item to maintain filters, blades, or, or you know, shaving cream or whatever. As you can see over here, the most popular dropshipping products in this category, in the beauty niche, okay? We're having natural skincare products with ingredients like herbs and, and plant extracts, you know, this bio stuff, natural, you know, more environmental friendly. They're saying that, you know, in 2023, this particular products for personal care has surpassed $19 billion. Just think about if you can, you know, attract 0.001% of this market. Also, they're highlighting that the second most popular niche inside this category is hair care products. I bet you already know that. A lot of products I've seen that they try to cover white hair, like a shampoo that will cover the white hair. This is something I've seen a lot of ads, a lot of people running ads for this product. I don't know how. Uh, successful and how effective it is but i see a lot of people selling it if you scroll down guys you're gonna see that the top dropshipping products in the beauty and personal care are face masks face rollers makeup removal uh, you know mascara pimple patches i have no idea what this is we have a sunscreen okay skincare oil eyeliner, pencil, facials, men's grooming kit, body wash. As you can see, there are some items that could be sold, not only for female, but for male as well, but still majority of which I can see it's makeup and female. So if you want to get into this particular niche, guys, you want to make sure that you re realize the concept, right? You realize who is your customer and how you are going to approach the situation. Uh, very important also is that the kitchen and dining niche is actually consolidating. If you look at over here, the interest over time has been kind of stagnated. It's not at peaks, it's not at highs. It's kind of bounced up from the, the recent lows, which is very interesting. We all know people are foodies. People love food. People love to cook. People love to... You know, buy stuff for the kitchen, try new recipes, read blog posts about recipes. So let's see what we can actually offer in this category. There are some trending products in this category that have stuck with consumers like portable blenders, electric kettles, which make for winning products. Remember, we're talking about dropshipping, so all these are sometimes hit or win. They might, you know, have some defects. Uh, chargebacks will simply destroy you so you want to make sure that you find the right uh, supplier for this so we have top dropshipping products to sell in the kitchen and dining niche we have insulated mugs air fryers electric kettles portable blenders coffee pots latte mixers paper mint tea electric kitchen scale uh, compostable paper plates water filters, stainless steel tumblers, reusable water bottles, silicone utensils, a lot of, uh, I would say, one-time use products, which is a surprise for me, like the plates, like the cutlery utensils, right? It's very, very interesting. People buy a lot of this stuff. We have shaker bottles for protein shakes, you know, leak-proof bento style kits, lunch boxes. Very, very interesting, guys. All these, some of them are much bigger like air fryers right uh, maybe this electric uh, kitchen scale might be a little chunky as well depending on the size but there are things that people are interested in most likely will be buying this is why you want to make sure that you study this particular niche and this highlighted products okay this is uh, internal info from shopify so obviously makes a lot of sense the next niche looks like it's again bouncing off the recent lows is the baby niche. I don't know nothing about this niche, so it will be uh, completely new information for me as well. If you look at over here, 
the market is essentially uh, expected to grow to over $330 billion by 2029. As of the recent 215, it's not quite a bit of a jump, right? We're talking about five years spread and they expect to, to grow, I would say a little over 100 mil, 100 billion. So I don't know guys. Current trend show people are cautious when selecting baby products like food, cosmetics or safety items. I know this, this is very, very tricky. If you're applying to dropship baby products, make sure build a credibility brand that customers trust. Remember, you, you if you find a, a product that you want to sell, it will be a short-lived product because remember, these people uh, will be buying once, twice, three times, and, and then, you know, the baby grows and the baby doesn't need probably the products anymore. So you constantly need uh, inflow of new customers with uh, you know babies at the same age you know this is how the whole uh, plan should work if you could look at down this is a list of all the baby items that are in demand and this is again internal suggestions from shopify i haven't had any experience with baby products in my opinion this is uh, pretty particular i would say uh, risky uh, and you know, it's it's hard to run ads for baby products, in my opinion. How are we gonna get a baby, you know, to show the the product, how the product works? You might find a mother, but again, I think it's it's not as easy as it sounds. So once we're over here, let's say, I'm gonna go ahead with uh, a few products like this. Let's go with the Night Galaxy Projector. Once we go with that, you're gonna go with this, okay? It's a DIY stainless steel flask, and then let's go with some heated men's puffer jackets. So I'm gonna load all three of these in, and once we load all three of these in, we're gonna scroll down here, and as you scroll down, it's gonna, you know, take you into loading. So I'm just gonna wait for it to do that. And once it's loaded in, what you're gonna do from here is you're simply gonna click on list. And once you click on list, it's gonna bring you here. So first of all, you're gonna go ahead and enter your store name you're gonna tell them where it's shipped from where it's shipped to and once all of that is done you know you're pretty much good to go so you're just gonna wait for it to you know process your authorization and uh, that's pretty much about it so once your authorization is processed as i stated you're simply gonna click on list and once you click on list it's gonna ask you to enter your store name now in the case that it says that no data is entered on your store you're simply gonna go ahead and click on my cj and once you click on my cj it's going to take you into your CJ dropshipping dashboard. Now, once you go into your CJ dropshipping dashboard over there, it's going to load you into this section. And once you're loaded into this section, what's going to happen is you're going to scroll down where it says store authorization. You're going to click on this and you're going to click on Shopify. And once you click on Shopify, it's going to open things up over here. And as you can see, my store is properly integrated. So now it's going to tell me that my store is good to go. So once you have chosen your store, I'm just uh, going to get out of this and now we're going to click on list once more. And uh, once everything is done, I'm going to add my recommended listing pricings. And once all of that is done, you're going to select the store to ship to the place where the orders are essentially going to go. And once all of that is done, you're going to start drop shipping your products. And once you drop ship your products, all those will appear in your product section over here. So let me show you what the outlook of these will look like. So again, once this loads up, it's going to verify that your store has been properly authorized. And once your store is authorized, simply, as I stated, you're going to click on list. I'm going to give you all of this. Make sure that your store's data is properly entered. Once your store data is entered, you're going to add in the shipping information. Click on recommend listing prices. You're going to click on listed now. And once you click on listed now, from there, it's going to bring you here to your Shopify store where it's going to start adding all of the products that you are working with. It's going to add all three necessary products and you're basically going to be good to go, you know? So that's pretty much about it. Now, once that is done, what's going to happen from there is you simply uh, go ahead and use your products, add it to your stores. And once you add it to your stores, you're going to start getting your orders from different places and once you get your orders from there you're gonna go ahead and uh, you know simply uh, start drop shipping and the thing is that the orders that you get 
are going to be seen over here. So uh, once your orders are done, they're going to be seen in, uh, you know, orders over here. Now, if you want to do drop shipping on Amazon, you are going to need some type of provider, okay, to help you do proper drop shipping. So there's a lot of drop shipping providers, but the best one, in my opinion, that would work well, because normally drop shipping on your Amazon would get banned because drop shippers cannot do business on Amazon. Amazon does not approve of that type of business. So if you actually want to get sturdy and, uh, you know, get a proper drop shipping business up and running on Amazon, what we're going to do is we're going to go here and there's a platform called Deezers. So Deezers is where you can start drop shipping. Okay. It's normally connected with AliExpress as their provider, but what happens is the products that you get on Deezers are off of your Amazon products. Okay. You can actually add your Amazonian products into your Deezers. You're going to add their links and everything should work pretty easily. So what you're going to do is you're going to sign in with this. And once you sign in with this account, you're going to connect it to your actual Amazon account. Make sure you have an Amazon account without that. This will not work. But once you do that, it should pretty much be done for you. So that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Shopify dropshipping tutorial 2024. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about Shopify and how you can start your dropshipping journey through this absolutely immaculate and amazing e-commerce software. So to start things off, we're going to come over to Shopify.com. And once you're into Shopify.com, we're going to create an account with it. So to create an account with it, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and click on start free trial, and it's going to take you into the store creation. Now, once you go into the store creation, it's going to tell you to get started and it's going to ask you a few questions where it's going to say, you know, which of these best describes you. You could go with I'm just starting. I'm already selling online or in person. I'm going to go with I'm just starting and click on next. Then it says, where would you like to sell? I'm going to click an online store and click on next. And it says, what do you plan to sell first? I'm going to go with drop shipping products and click on next. Once we do that, it says, where will your business be located? Uh, you're obviously going to add in your business location. So in my case, it's Pakistan and you can go ahead and add, you know, whatever location you have. And once you do that, it's going to bring you here where it's going to ask you to sign up with these different ways. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sign up with email. And I'm simply going to go ahead and add an email for myself and uh, sign in with that. So I'm going to go ahead and be using a temp mail for now. You don't necessarily need to follow this step. You can simply go ahead and use any other email that you have. But I'm going to go with this. Okay. And once we're over here, let me show you what to do from here. So what you're going to do is you're simply going to be adding your password in this section. And once you add your password, you're simply going to click on create Shopify account. Now, once you're creating your Shopify account, it's going to ask you for your password again. So you're going to make sure to reconfirm it and reassure it. And once you reassure your password, what's going to happen from there is it's going to directly log you in. So when it logs you in, let me show you what the interface looks like. So once you come over here, it starts loading and the screen starts loading. And what happens from there is it's going to bring you to building your store. So once it brings you to building your store, what's going to happen from there is you are going to be taken into this section, which is basically your basic dashboard. OK, now, once you're in your dashboard, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be downloading some application which will basically allow you to, you know, start your job shipping. So in my opinion, I would always suggest users to go with some application like uh, CJ job shipping or maybe Spocket or Deezers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding CJ drop shipping for myself. So for that, we're going to click on add apps and we're going to click on Shopify app store. Now, once you click on your Shopify app store, it's going to basically load things in and it's going to bring you here. Now, once you are over here, what you're simply going to do is you're going to search up CJ. Just search up CJ. You can write dropshipping if you want to, but you're, I'm just simply going to search up CJ. Once you search up CJ, it's going to bring you here where it says CJ dropshipping much faster. Now, once you go here, you're going to click on open app. And once you click on open app from there, it's going to start authorizing things where it's going to bring you here. It's going to ask you to agree the terms. We're going to click on login and authorize. If you have an account, you're going to do that. Or if you don't, you're simply going to go ahead and sign up. Sign up process is pretty simple. You're going to add an email. Then you are going to go ahead and add a password for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly add a password. I'm going to confirm this password as well real quick. There we go. 
And once you do that, you're going to agree to their terms and click on next. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for a username. Just add anything random, to be honest. And you're going to add your name. You're going to add your phone number. And once you do that, you're going to click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, it's going to start loading you in. And once it starts loading you in, it brings you here to a user questionnaire where it says, which platform are you running your store on now? Which is obviously Shopify. I'm going to choose how many orders I process and what categories do I work in. And once we do that, we're going to submit things and it's going to load us here where it says authorization is now a success. So once your authorization is a success, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead into your uh, store over here. And from here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the main CJ dashboard where we are going to start accessing all the drop shipping products. So if we scroll down here, you're going to see all these things, you know, different products to work with, different products to choose from, and you know, really fun stuff that you can add for your design. So it's all these things that are going to allow you to start working with uh, your drop shipping maneuvers. So once we're over here, let's say I'm going to go ahead with uh, a few products like this. Let's go with a night galaxy projector. Once we go with that, you're going to go with this. Okay. It's a DIY stainless steel flask. And then let's go with some heated men's puffer jackets. So I'm going to load all three of these in. And once we load all three of these in, we're going to scroll down here. And as you scroll down, it's going to, you know, take you into loading. So I'm just going to wait for it to do that. And once it's loaded in, what you're going to do from here is you're simply going to click on list. And once you click on list, it's going to bring you here. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and enter your store name. You're going to tell them where it's shipped from, where it's shipped to. And once all of that is done, you know, you're pretty much good to go. So you're just going to wait for it to, you know, process your authorization. And uh, that's pretty much about it. So once your authorization is processed, as I stated, you're simply going to click on list. And once you click on list, it's going to ask you to enter your store name. Now, in the case that it says that no data is entered on your store, you're simply going to go ahead and click on my CJ. And once you click on my CJ, it's going to take you into your CJ dropshipping dashboard. Now, once you go into your CJ dropshipping dashboard over there, it's going to load you into this section. And once you're loaded into this section, what's going to happen is you're going to scroll down where it says store authorization. You're going to click on this and you're going to click on Shopify. And once you click on Shopify, it's going to open things up over here. And as you can see, my store is properly integrated. So now it's going to tell me that my store is good to go. So once you have chosen your store, I'm just uh, going to get out of this. And now we're going to click on list once more. And uh, once everything is done, I'm going to add my recommended listing pricings. And once all of that is done, you're going to select the store to ship to the place where the orders are essentially going to go. And once all of that is done, you're going to start drop shipping your products. And once you drop ship your products, all those will appear in your product section over here. So let me show you what the outlook of these will look like. So again, once this loads up, it's going to verify that your store has been properly authorized. And once your store is authorized, simply, as I stated, you're going to click on list. I'm going to give you all of this. Make sure that your store's data is properly entered. Once your store data is entered, you're going to add in the shipping information. Click on recommend listing prices. You're going to click on listed now. And once you click on listed now, from there, it's going to bring you here to your Shopify store where it's going to start adding all of the products that you are working with. It's going to add all of your necessary products and you're basically going to be good to go, you know? So that's pretty much about it. Now, once that is done, what's going to happen from there is you simply uh, go ahead and use your products, add it to your stores. And once you add it to your stores, you're going to start getting your orders from different places. And once you get your orders from there, you're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, simply uh, start drop shipping. And the thing is that the orders that you get are going to be seen over here. So uh, once your orders are done, they're going to be seen in, uh, you know, orders over here. You can fulfill your orders, you know, adding different inventories, you know, you're pretty much good to go. So that's pretty much about it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Thank you for watching till the end and I will see all of you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye. In this video, guys, we're going to go and use Bart AI to help us start a brand new store on the Shopify platform. 
and we're going to ask what kind of products, how we're going to structure our business and how we can outperform our competitors. Remember, all this information will be coming from Google. So information is very up to date and it's very, very interesting how other people share their information. Remember, this is summary of pictures, videos, blog posts, comments. We're going to get access to all this just with a single prompt over here. So, so I want to start uh, an e-commerce store on Shopify. Please advise a strategy, products, and marketing approach so I can be successful. Boom. Very easy, very simple, guys. All the other case studies on my channel over here, guys, you need to go through each one of it, okay? You're going to learn so many things about how to use AI and make tons of money, okay? Let's see what they actually pump this time. Great choice. Shopify, fantastic platform, okay? Product selection. Find a niche. Don't try to compete with everything. Instead, find a niche market with underserved needs. Okay, we know that. Passionate passion matters choose products you're genuinely excited about that doesn't sound like a good idea consider profitability analyze potential okay strategy brand identity develop a street this is my this might not be what we're looking for guys uh okay my bad i was looking to do drop shipping I see the version of the business with, with without branding and this and that. The challenge, the chances things a bit of uh, general, okay. Niche selection, okay, still. Look for products with high perceived value, hello competition, and potential for recurring purchases. Consider unique items. Recurring purchases is something that I haven't heard recently. That's a good idea. For example, if you can sell something that people will be coming back and buying every week, every month. You know, you know exactly how much. It's very predictable sources of revenue or potential margin. Sounds very, very good. So inventory management, supplier selection. I have a couple of videos here on CJ dropshipping uh, tutorial guys on my channel. You want to make sure you look at them. I also have a full tutorial on Shopify, how to uh, register, how to set up your store. So you want to make sure you check the selection over here. Let's see what they advise us on marketing strategy. Social media influencers, yeah, we know that. Pay advertising, we know that. Fresh sales and promotions, email marketing, additional tips, focus on product quality. That's nothing we can actually regulate. It's coming from China. Uh, transparent communications, be upfront about the draw your dropshipping model, communicate with potential shipping delays. Okay, that's correct. Focus on customer service. Okay, virtual assistant meaning. Remember, success in dropshipping requires, okay, dedication, hard working, continuous adaptation. Well, guys, I don't think this is perfect, but I, I truly believe if we spend another maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, up to an hour, asking the right more niche down questions after we choose our product and niche, I believe uh, Barty I could help us and save us a lot of time. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. So once your authorization is a success, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead into your uh, store over here. And from here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the main CJ dashboard where we are going to start accessing all the dropshipping products. So if we scroll down here, you're going to see all these things, you know, different products to work with, different products to choose from, and you know, really fun stuff that you can add for your design. So it's all these things that are going to allow you to start working with uh, your dropshipping maneuvers. So once we're over here, let's say I'm going to go ahead with uh, a few products like this. Let's go with a night galaxy projector. Once we go with that, you're going to go with this. Okay. It's a DIY stainless steel flask. And then let's go with some heated men's puffer jackets. So I'm going to load all three of these in. 
And once we load all three of these in, we're going to scroll down here. And as you scroll down, it's going to, you know, take you into loading. So I'm just going to wait for it to do that. And once it's loaded in, what you're going to do from here is you're simply going to click on list. And once you click on list, it's going to bring you here. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and enter your store name. You're going to tell them where it's shipped from, where it's shipped to. And once all of that is done, you know, you're pretty much good to go. So you're just going to wait for it to, you know, process your authorization. And uh, that's pretty much about it. So once your authorization is processed, as I stated, you're simply going to click on list. And once you click on list, it's going to ask you to enter your store name. Now, in the case that it says that no data is entered on your store, you're simply going to go ahead and click on my CJ. And once you click on my CJ, it's going to take you into your CJ dropshipping dashboard. Now, once you go into your CJ dropshipping dashboard over there, it's going to load you into this section. And once you're loaded into this section, what's going to happen? is you're going to scroll down where it says store authorization. You're going to click on this and you're going to click on Shopify. And once you click on Shopify, it's going to open things up over here. And as you can see, my store is properly integrated. So now it's going to tell me that my store is good to go. So once you have chosen your store, I'm just uh, going to get out of this. And now we're going to click on list once more. And uh, once everything is done, I'm going to add my recommended listing pricings. And once all of that is done, you're going to select the store to ship to the place where the orders are essentially going to go. And once all of that is done, you're going to start drop shipping your products. And once you drop ship your products, all those will appear in your product section over here. So let me show you what the outlook of these will look like. So again, once this loads up, it's going to verify that your store has been properly authorized. And once your store is authorized, simply as I stated, you're going to click on list. I'm going to give you all of this. Make sure that your store's data is properly entered. Once your store data is entered, you're going to add in the shipping information. Click on recommend listing prices. You're going to click on listed now. And once you click on listed now, from there, it's going to bring you here to your Shopify store where it's going to start adding all of the products that you are working with. It's going to add all of your necessary products and you're basically going to be good to go, you know? So that's pretty much about it. Now, once that is done, what's going to happen from there is you simply uh, go ahead and use your products, add it to your stores. And once you add it to your stores, you're going to start getting your orders from different places. And once you get your orders from there, you're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, simply uh, start drop shipping. And the thing is that the orders that you get are going to be seen over here. So uh, once your orders are done, they're going to be seen in, uh, you know, orders over here. You can fulfill your orders, you know, adding different inventories, you know, you're pretty much good to go. So that's pretty much about it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Thank you for watching till the end and I will see all of you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye. Hi guys. In this video, we're going to go over the new BART AI prompts. In this particular example, we're going to use BART to help us to build an e-commerce brand, something probably related to dropshipping or an original brand with original label. In previous videos, if you saw my channel, we tested BART for using the settings, Google Maps, using for recipes, using for building resumes. You want to make sure you check out the other videos as well. Let's jump onto this example over here. So first of all, you want to scroll down and go to the prompt section and let's click on the prompt. In our example today, we are going to ask BART to help us to build an e-commerce store. So let's jump in. I want to build an e-commerce store on, let's say, eBay or Etsy. Please suggest uh, trending products. I can sell, I can sell and marketing strategy, strategies. Let's see what are the basics according to Google Bart on this topic and how they can actually help us, right? It was very helpful with the maps. Okay, choosing the platform and training products to sell online requires some initial research. Okay, 
platforms eBay. Okay, so Bart AI generates information from Wikipedia over here. We see the logo. It gives you some pinpoints and main difference between Etsy and eBay, right? You will compete with established sellers and lower priced items. Focus on unique or hand to find products in complete competitive pricing. Okay, so eBay, according to uh, Bart, it gives us like very good due diligence saying that, you know, if you choose eBay, you're going to compete with very, very strong competition, people who are selling at cheap, right? So we all know where is the competition. Uh, usually it's harder to make money. The market is usually saturated. Let's see what Bart AI is saying about Etsy. According to Bart AI, ideal for handcrafted and vintage items. Stand out with high quality photos, detailed description and strong brand identity. Trending products. So, okay, that's good. That's like we just got like a, like a research for dropshipping, right? Essentially, just with one prompt. How amazing Bart is, right? In comparison with ChatGPT. Okay, trending products. Once you choose the platform, explore sustainable and eco-friendly products, reusable water bottles, bamboo utensils, upcycled clothing. Okay, personalized items. So we got one recommendation, which is very generic, obviously for eBay, and it gave us a, a recommendation for handcraft or, or something that is customizable. That is like perfect for Etsy, right? As you can see, juries. Uh, with custom engraving, phone cases, printed photos, pet accessories. Okay, comfort and wellness products, candles, diffusers, blankets, cushions. Interesting. Tech accessories, wireless chargers, phone stands, portable seekers. I want to go one step ahead and make things a little, a little more interesting. Let's ask, can you give me information from google trends about most searched products so far for 2024 now things get a little complicated let's see how the Bart is going to get over the challenge. Okay, we do get some results. Wow, it's still early in 2024. Google Trends does offer some interesting insights into the most search products. Okay, guys, we're, we're getting ahead of the competition. That this is why you have to follow and subscribe to the channel. You just, you just learn something very easy for free that you, you probably it will cost you hours and hours and hours to learn about okay let's see here is the glimpse based on various regions and categories this is the global category okay air purifiers okay sustainable and eco-friendly products okay with the reusable water bottle we saw that smart home devices the popularity of the smart home technology continues to grow with searches and devices like thermostats Lightning systems, doorbell seeing significant increase. Gaming laptops and consoles. With the release of a new consoles, more powerful laptops. Searches for these products are particularly high among younger demographics. Okay, guys, now we're getting into the most important part, the United States searches, okay? Peloton bikes. This is surprising. We all know Peloton, uh, it's down big time. The stock has lost 80% of its value. So let's see. Despite facing some challenges in recent months, Peloton bikes remain a popular search item in the US. This suggests continued interest at home fitness solutions, which is cool. Electric vehicles, people are looking to buy Tesla or Ford. Uh, as you can see, this is among the most searched brands. Travel. After two years of pandemic restrictions, people are eager to travel again. Searches for flights, hotels and vacation rentals are and seeing significant increase in the US. Amazing. We're having UK as well. Let's, let's see the UK 
the cost of living in UK. UK is facing a cost of living crisis with rising prices of wood. So this, everything is a problem over here, guys. You need to think about solutions that you can provide or turn into a business ideas. Very easy. Queen Elizabeth II. Okay, taking place in June 2024 and sorry, generating a lot of interest. Searches for related products like like uh, uh, like mugs. Uh, okay, some like merchandise. Okay, gardening. Okay, this looks cool. Gardening remains a popular post time in the UK and searches for related products like seeds, tools and plants are steadily increasing. You know what this means, right? All my UK friends now can be looking into capitalizing on some drop shipping seeds, tools and plants for gardening. As you saw over here, guys, it is very easy. It takes just a couple of seconds. All we gotta do is to pull up the right prompts and have a good ideas. This is how simple it is to extract information and utilize part AI. You're gonna go to your apps. You're gonna click on add apps. And here you can see seeds are drop shipping right at the top. So you're simply gonna click on install. And what that will do is it will authorize your CG drop shipping with your Shopify. It's going to bring the app into this section and you're obviously going to go ahead and, uh, you know, complete the installation file and gig between these. Now, after we have done that, what that will help us do is it will give us a good idea on uh, how we're going to start a drop shipping. Obviously, you're going to want to create an account with CG drop shipping connect your drop shipping account with your Shopify account. They're going to give you a connection with it. It's pretty simple. So it's going to take you to the authorization, just sign in with your account. And that is basically how you can use CJ dropshipping with Shopify. Then obviously proceeding on, you can get into the main dashboards in my CJ and start importing your accounts. But yeah, uh, just go ahead. You can register as well with a new account and it's going to connect that account to your Shopify. So I want to start uh, an e Hammer store on Shopify. Please advise a strategy products and marketing approach so I can be successful boom very easy very simple guys all the other case studies on my channel over here guys you need to go through each one of it okay you're gonna learn so many things about how to use ai and make tons of money okay let's see what they actually pump this time great choice shopify fantastic platform okay product selection find a niche don't try to compete with everything instead find a niche market with underserved needs okay we know that passionate Passion matters, choose products you're genuinely excited about. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Consider profitability, analyze potential. Okay, strategy, brand, identity, develop a street. This is my, this might not be what we're looking for, guys. Uh, okay, my bad. I was looking to do drop shipping. I see the version of the business with, with without branding and this and that. The challenge, the chances things a bit of uh, general, okay. New selection, okay, still. Look for products with high perceived value, hello competition and potential for recurring purchases. Consider unique items. Recurring purchases is something that I haven't heard recently. That's a good idea. For example, if you can sell something that people will be coming back and buying every week, every month. You know, you know exactly how much. It's very predictable sources of revenue or potential margin. Sounds very, very good. So inventory management, supplier selection. I have a couple of videos here on CJ dropshipping uh, tutorial guys on my channel. You want to make sure you look at them. I also have a full tutorial on Shopify, how to uh, register, how to set up your store. So you want to make sure you check the selection over here. Let's see what they advise us on marketing strategy. Social media influencers, yeah, we know that. Pay advertising, we know that. Fresh sales and promotions, email marketing, additional tips, focus on product quality. That's nothing we can actually regulate. It's coming from China. 
transparent communications be upfront about the draw your drop shipping model, communicate with potential shipping delays. Okay, that's correct. Focus on customer service. Okay, virtual assistant meaning. Remember success in dropshipping requires okay dedication, hard working, continuous adaptation. Well guys, I don't think this is perfect, but I, I truly believe if we spend another maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, up to an hour asking the right more niche down questions after we choose our product and niche, I believe uh, Barty I could help us and save us a lot of time. For more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Google Bart AI to make your market research, to select products that you're going to sell and to create a business plan for your either e-commerce store or dropshipping business, okay? First thing I want you to go ahead, create an account and log in into Google Bart AI. When you come over here, you want to make sure that you give Google Bart AI most detailed and precise questions and prompts, okay? So you will get the better answers. First thing you want to say, I am looking to start an e-commerce, an e-commerce store, okay, focused on dropshipping. Please help me research popular niches and products that are currently popular in the Google search and also uh, help me create a business plan that's it, let's see. We give a pretty detailed prompt. Usually Bart AI is doing a fantastic job, guys. Usually it's doing a much better job than ChatGPT and, and even the co-pilot of Microsoft in comparison. Let's see. Hot niche is over here, guys, for dropshipping in 2020. For, for free. Eco-friendly products, bamboo straws, reusable water bottles, organic loading, trending, home and garden products for improving comfort of the organization like ergonomic furniture, smart home gardens, health and wellness, fitness trackers, yoga mats, meditation apps, pet supplies, high quality toys, tech gadgets, funny trending products, Google Trends. So according to Google Trends, utilize Google Trends to... Uh, business plan no i want more specifics can we get more specific about the data from google trends can we that's the question over here guy absolutely to narrow down the google trends research i need some additional information what interests you with the hot niches mentioned, for example, are you more drawn to the sustainable fashion? Nope. I would uh, look for simple, small, I would say gadgets or tools. Let's see. Looking for something small, easy shipping, guys, easy returns. Uh, you know, everything will be much easier. Trading gadgets and tools. Okay, we have a cable wraps. We have charging docks, portable phone stands, wireless earbuds, cleaning kits, kitchen gadgets, avocado slicer, egg yolk. That's very good, guys. That's very, very good. It's just We just type like maybe four or five different prompts and we, we end up with exact match of, of our search queries, right? And this is based on Google Trends. This is not coming from, you know, anonymous website or something. So obviously it is possible. And I also going to give them uh, eight stars out of them, the best performing AI chatbot over here so far, guys. Please make sure to check out my other videos on Copilot and on, on uh, Bing AI chat. We did some very nice experiments and case studies about the business. 
For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in today's video we are going to go through what is TikTok shop, how you can make money with it, how much money you can make with it, what are the requirements, how you could apply and essentially is it actually worth it? Let's dive in. First thing we want to launch the TikTok app. When you're at your account, I want you to go ahead and click on the upper right corner where you see the three straight lines. When you have this pop-up menu, I want you to click on the first option, which is Creator Tools. This is where the magic happens. There is a special menu over here, it's called Monetization. And I want you to scroll through the section that is called Tic Tac Shop. There is a two different shops, one is for Creator and the other one is for Seller. Essentially, the first one over here is if you want to make money as an affiliate, uh, in this particular example over here, you can earn a commission with TikTok shop affiliate. You can simply link a products from other people's, uh, you know, stores. For example, you're making content about, let's say, running or gym, right? And there are people who are selling gym equipment or selling gym uh, clothes or gym supplements, right? And you can essentially go and under your videos, you can tag their products. You can put your products, their products into your account. So when people shop from your account, you can simply earn commission. In this particular example, uh, the requirements and the eligibility stands that first of all, your account should not be posting anything that is against uh, the TikTok community guidance. Uh, you should have over 5,000 followers, which is half of the requirements for creativity program beta, which I believe guys is very, very possible. And of course, you should be at least 18 years old, which again is very, very easy. I think this, uh, it's, a, it's a good program. I have another TikTok account. I have over 70,000 followers on another one. Uh, I've listed plenty of items. So honestly, guys, I haven't sold anything. So I don't know, maybe my items are too expensive or maybe the niche, it's different. So you want to make sure you list items that are very, very reliable to your audience, right? Don't list like a... Uh, you know musical instruments or something if if your page is not for you know musicians the second uh, shop over here guys is for uh, sellers essentially this is you're a creator and instead of you selling other people's gym equipment or gym clothes you, you're selling your own so let's say you found someone in china or elsewhere who can you know manufacture a large amount of, of goods and can ship the goods and has a facility and you know can expedite uh, and ship all the items essentially over here you create your own account and this is for uh, you know us only simply because i am from the us but uh, you can essentially switch to other countries and currently this is what is available uh, you have indonesia malaysia thailand philippines vietnam uh, singapore and united kingdom uh, probably it will be uh, rolling over in other countries as well. Uh, very important over here is that you, you know, should have your TikTok uh, business account to log in over here. So uh, you need to have a separate login simply because this is going to show you your, you know, analytics of your business, analytics of, of your own uh, performance. You could essentially click uh, sign up with your TikTok account, but you're still going to have a separate note. And again, as you can see the examples, people tend to uh, make more money if they're selling something that they are very, very good at. So usually, as we see over here, they're selling cosmetics, they're selling makeups. Uh, I don't know why it's only <laughs> women's on the example, but uh, there's uh, some success stories. Someone who, who, who got over 1.5 million uh, views and you know he had fifteen thousand orders and he made uh life we're talking about life sales over three hundred fifty thousand dollars again this is sales guys this is not profit again uh this is just the revenue uh, i think it's it's worth trying especially if you are like this one of these creators who are uh, really making uh tutorials about how you know to do makeup how to you know lose weight how, something that is connected with activity that people can really you know see you trying it or see you using it so you will be able to sell more all we gotta do is to sign up over here and this is how it works guys 
essentially uh, it will take time for uh, TikTok to uh, you know to process your request and essentially when you sign up uh, TikTok will uh, generate your account and will be able to create a new spreadsheet where you should agree to the terms and, and conditions and then you can proceed and, and start uh, working towards the process of approval uh, they're going to send you uh, you know two to six days after they review your application uh, also then you then you have to link your original tiktok account like i mentioned there is a split in between so you will be able to get verified and you know start showing the content uh, during your live streams for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in this video we're going to go over the new bart ai prompts in this particular example we're going to use bart to help us to build an e-commerce brand something probably related to dropshipping or an original brand with original label in previous videos if you saw my channel we tested bart for using the settings google maps using for recipes using for building resumes you want to make sure you check out the other videos as well let's jump onto this example over here so first of all you want to scroll down and go to the prompt section and let's click on the prompt in our example today we are going to ask bart to help us to build an e-commerce store so let's jump in i want to build an e-commerce store on let's say ebay or etsy please suggest uh trending products i can sell i can sell and marketing strategy strategies let's see what are the basics according to google bart on this topic and how they can actually help us right it was very helpful with the maps okay choosing the platform and training products to sell online requires some initial research okay platforms ebay okay so bart ai generates information from wikipedia over here we see the logo it gives you some pinpoints and main difference between etsy and ebay right you will compete with established sellers and lower priced items focus on unique or hand to find products in complete competitive pricing okay so ebay according to uh, bart it gives us like very good due diligence saying that you know if you choose ebay you're going to compete with very very strong competition people who are selling at cheap right so we all know where is the competition uh, usually it's harder to make money the market is usually saturated let's see what bart ai is saying about etsy according to bart ai ideal for handcrafted and vintage items stand out with high quality photos detailed description and strong brand identity trending products so okay that's good that's like we just got like a like a research for drop shipping right essentially just with one prompt how amazing bart is right in comparison with chat gpt okay trending products once you choose the platform explore sustainable and eco-friendly products reusable water bottles bamboo utensils upcycled clothing okay personalized items so we got one recommendation which is very generic obviously for ebay and it gave us a, a recommendation for handcraft or, or something that is customizable that is like perfect for etsy right as you can see juries uh, with custom engraving, phone cases, printed photos, pet accessories. Okay, comfort and wellness products. Candles, diffusers, blankets, cushions. Interesting. Tech accessories, wireless chargers, phone stands, portable seekers. I want to go one step ahead and make things a little, a little more interesting. Let's ask. Can you give me information from google trends about most searched products 
so far for 2024 now things get a little complicated let's see how the bard is going to get over the challenge okay we do get some results wow it's still early in 2024 google trends does offer some interesting insights into the most search products okay guys we're, we're getting ahead of the competition that this is why you have to follow and subscribe to the channel you just you just learn something very easy for free that you you probably it will cost you hours and hours and hours to learn about okay let's see here is the glimpse based on various regions and categories this is the global category okay air purifiers okay sustainable and eco-friendly products okay with the reusable water bottle we saw that smart home devices the popularity of the smart home technology continues to grow with searches and devices like thermostats lightning systems doorbell seeing significant increase gaming laptops and consoles with the release of a new consoles more powerful laptops searches for these products are particularly high among younger demographics okay guys now we're getting into the most important part the united states searches okay peloton bikes this is surprising we all know peloton uh, it's down big time the stock has lost 80 percent of its value so let's see despite facing some challenges in recent months peloton bikes remain a popular search item in us this suggests continued interest at home fitness solutions which is cool electric vehicles people are looking to buy tesla or ford uh, as you can see this is among the most searched brands travel after two years of pandemic restrictions people are eager to travel again searches for flights hotels and vacation rentals are and seeing significant increase in the us amazing we're having uk as well let's let's see the uk the cost of living in uk uk is facing a cost of living crisis with rising prices of wood so this everything is a problem over here guys you need to think about solutions that you can provide or turn into a business ideas very easy queen elizabeth ii okay taking place in june 2024 and sorry generating a lot of interest searches for related products like like uh, uh, like mugs uh, okay some like merchandise okay gardening okay this looks cool gardening remains a popular post time in the uk and searches for related products like seeds tools and plants are steadily increasing you know what this means right all my uk friends now can be looking into capitalizing on some drop shipping seeds tools and plants for gardening as you saw over here guys it is very easy it takes just a couple of seconds all we gotta do is to pull up the right prompts and have a good ideas there is something that no one talks about about the drop shipping and the current trends what products what niches what you should focus on as you can see over here we have the most recent update from shopify blog giving us the most internal information about what kind of products are successful on the platform for dropshipping. We can pay attention to one of these categories, which is apparel and footwear. They are applying the Google Trends, which essentially showing us that there is a channel of interest that simply hits the lower 75 to 100 and currently is about to hit the recent highs. So according to the data provided from them, uh, this is a big market until 2026 they expected the market to reach almost two trillion dollars so clothes shoes i know a lot of people run plenty of ads last year selling these cheap shoes on facebook you probably saw like 9.99 4.99 but let's see the list over here provided from shopify it's the top drop shipping products in apparel and footwear uh, let's start with essential short sleeves tees these are very very cheap shirts dollar two dollars if you previously don't print on demand this is the basic tees that you're selling uh, we're not talking about cotton we're not talking about anything that is good quality then yoga socks this is something new we tend to sell a lot of yoga mats if you remember during the pandemic now we're, we're having this like 
under niches, like a small under category over all the, 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 the grand niches. We have a sweatsuits, like summer is coming or maybe some indoor activity for people who are doing a lot of pools. Sandals, you know, this is ahead of the season. Pay very close attention. Water shoes, flower print, kimonos, quick dry running shorts. We have a wire free brass, right? Cargo shorts, loafers, a lot of activities over here, guys. This is very important because these people who are doing a lot of activities, they are buying a lot of these things because one pair will not get them through. You know, they sweat a lot, they have to do a lot of laundry, they have to do this, they have to do that. So these people tend to buy more than one item per, per purchase. So you can actually do additional sales and upsell at the end. We have loafers, cargo shorts, we have golf poles, tank tops, swim trucks, like sundresses, uh, leggings. Also, reading all this, I want to give you another tip over here, guys. You're not going to target people who are into brands, right? People who are buying polo shirts with polo Ralph Lauren or polo shirts La Costa will not be buying your shirts with, you know, no brand or some simple plain stuff. So you want to make sure that when you target or create your marketing plan or strategy, you target the right audience. You target people who are not into brands, particular areas, particular age, professions, right? You want to niche down your target audience so you will have the best results. Another niche that also it's kind of reliable to the previous one is the beauty and personal care. Uh, people who work out a lot, they definitely pay attention to the way how their body, their skin, you know, their, their overall, you know, lifestyle looks like. So these people are also paying attention and spending money on cosmetics and, and, you know, taking care of their face or body or something. As you can see over here, Google Trends indicates that we're about to cross uh, the, the most recent highs. So we're about to surpass the, the most recent highs and hit the previous highs. So this is a very, very good indicator. This issue is, is kind of particular. It's kind of hard to, 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 to gain exposure on the men's side trying to target male customers. But on the female side, I believe it's pretty easy because the women's, uh, we are pretty familiar what they want, right? What they use on a daily basis, especially if you have a uh, you know, girlfriend or, or wife. So according to Shopify, there are two increasingly popular dropshipping products categories in the beauty and personal care. The first one is natural skin care products with ingredients like herbs and plant extracts. So nothing artificial over here, guys. If you try to sell something artificial, people will not be interested, most likely. The market for natural personal care products has surpassed already $19 billion in 2023. The second important thing that is growing as a category is the hair care products. You know, simply, I, I mentioned in previous videos, there is a shampoo right now who is promoted as the one who is covering uh, the white hair. We just use it as a normal shampoo and you know it simply covers your white hair i don't know how it works i don't know how successful it is but i see a bunch of ads bunch of uh, you know dropshipping potentially i cannot be sure about it but dropshipping ads very very interesting so let's see top dropshipping products in the beauty and personal care we have a face masks we have a face roller makeup removal uh, mascara pimple patches most of this as you can see over here is women's like that's what i said it's easier to target women's it's easier to build a shop and you know run ads for women's it's really hard to find what men actually is willing to buy we have skincare oil sunscreen eyeliner pencil facial moisturizing lotion hydrating eye gel men's grooming kits see this is some some kit, you know, because even they are not sure exactly what men men's want to buy in this particular category. So they're selling the whole kit. How funny this is, huh? You have a body wash. Uh, okay, we have something for the nails. We have some sponge. I don't know what this sponge is for about. I have a travel bottles, vitamins and supplements, foundation brushes, hair curls and hair nets. So guys, as you saw, there's plenty of things that you probably could sell. The question is, is this something that you're into? Uh, I haven't had any experience of selling none of these items because I know it's 
it's kind of tricky it's easy to ship because all these makeup tools and you know cosmetics are so small it's easy to ship it's usually very cheap cost basis but again i always been like worrying about you know what if some of these products are not high quality what if somebody got you know irritation or um, some issues with the skin you know in I didn't ever wanted to, to get into this complications. This was the reason I always stay away from it. The next niche highlighted over here from Shopify guys is the kitchen and dining. Uh, this is something that I believe probably a lot of people will be passionate about. There are a lot of people who are into food. So this might be something that you understand and people are willing to take a little more risk when they understand the product. <clears throat> According to Shopify, there are some trending products in this category that have stuck with the consumers like portable blenders we saw these blender ads all over the facebook and tiktok recently also electric kettles which make for winning products let's see the list of these kitchen products i'm very very interested so we have insulated mugs probably the ones that you know we, you can plug with the usb in, in the inside the laptop we have air fryers, we have electric kettles, portable blenders, coffee pots, latte mixers, peppermint tea, electric kitchen scale, uh, compo uh, compost table, paper plates, water filters, stainless steel tumblers, reusable water bottles, silicone utensils, kitchen organizers and storage shaker bottles for protein shakes leak proof bento style kids lunch boxes all of this plasticky stuff reminds me the one dollar store so it, it kind of feels that you can simply go inside the one dollar store and see what what is like on the forefront of the store the small items and you know exactly what you know people are looking at another niche that also is very new in my opinion for me personally i know someone who was selling a diaper bag inside the baby niche right they didn't make any money and this really got me because it's really hard to sell something to to the parents parents you know listen to the doctor and whatever doctor recommends they don't buy like some random sketchy you know facebook ads products usually according to shopify there are certain trends that people are uh, you know showing more interest than others uh, we're talking about baby products like food, cosmetics, or safety items. Uh, they also saying that if you're applying to dropship baby products, make sure you build credible brand that consumers trust. This is what I mentioned. Because like I said, it will be your ad, your worth against the you know, doctor recommendation or their friend's recommendation. What stops people to go out and Google and buy something from, let's say, Walmart or whatever, instead of buying from you, right? You have to to be cre very very credible you have to build a store that the store is like for adult don't build a store to look like a baby like a like a child you know animation stuff they're not gonna take you seriously so top dropshipping pros to sell in this particular niche so baby clothing you know teething toys hypo allergenic baby diaper wipes water-based wipes diapers stroller fans Hydration multiplier, no touch, forehead, thermometer, sponge bottle brushes. This all sounds good, right? Because the people usually who will buy this, uh, you know, until the baby is small, I don't know how long, like the first like year and a half, two years, right? They might be, you know, come back and buy second, third, fourth pair of it, right? Uh, but they need constantly new people. You need to find a way how and where you can find all these people who you know looking for the questions and answers people who just got babies right this is your goal the goal is to have a you know constant inflow of of, of people with babies new babies so they will be buying the product overall so again guys if you want to try shopify i do have a link in the comments pinned below Go ahead and, and if you want to build up your store and try certain products, you can go ahead and do so.